wanted to make this quick short video to help you with your uh, Foley projects that you guys are working on right now. If you guys could go to our website and please click on the Art of Foley. Let's get started there. Okay, this is a hyperdoc that's supposed to help you guys out. You guys know we had the definition up at the top, right? If you look through here, you'll see all the different samples. What I, the reason I chose these videos was because they gave examples of Foley artists. They were doing everything from, you know, using um, spoons together to create metal clinking and clacking. Um, they showed you how they take leaves to, um, to, to record those as you're wishing through those, you know, all the different kind of stuff that you guys should be working on in class. Now, the most important thing here is your Foley project assignment timeline. And if you take a look at that, what you should notice is, okay, last week you should have already had the roles for the people on your team and you should have written the scripts. Okay. Now, your next thing that you'll notice that I added right here is your Foley art storyboard. I think some of you are getting a little behind here. And so what I did was I created this Foley art storyboard um, and I'm going to click on it so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the Foley art project storyboard. All right, you'll notice the difference with this storyboard is you add the Foley and the music to each of the scenes you're going to be doing. All right, that's going to be a bit of a change. Now, for those of you who aren't sure what that should look like, what I did was I did this, okay? If you go down on the sheet to the extras, you'll see there's a sample Foley art storyboard. Let's take a look at that so I can show you what that should look like. Okay, when you click on it, you're going to be taken to the drive where the storyboard is located because I took a picture of it. I went through and actually um, did one of these for you. I just did one page. Now, if you click on this, okay, actually I already downloaded it. You'll download it. And I want you to take a look at this. I'm going to try to check this out here so I can zoom in a little bit. All right. You'll notice here on this storyboard, here's what I did. I actually did this for the movie you guys watched last week, the sci-fi movie that I thought had that great Foley Superstorm. So I tried to do it so it would be something you would notice. Now, project title, it was named Superstorm. You should have a title for your film. Now, number of scenes, 22. Five to eight minutes, I figured that was about logical. Maybe you'd have a, you know, you might have a few more, that'd be fine. Locations, these are your shot locations. Where are you going to be filming? Okay, and then the talent. There's usually like the three to four main actors from your group. You may have a couple others in there. So let's take a look so I can show you a little bit about how this looks. The lead in shot, up here the scenes. I wrote, lead in shot, it's on a bridge. Scene two, biking on the road. Scene three, at the auto shop. Scene four, on the road. You can see this matches up to what we saw, and I put the locations on there as well. So you can see the scene one, and you guys, you can tell, I drew these super fast with a pen so you can see this doesn't have to be, you know, classical artwork that would hang in a museum. It just has to be pretty simple. So if you remember the first one here, actor number one rides across the bridge. Here's a quick picture of what a bridge might look like. Here's the running stream underneath, some trees. This was nature, wildlife, you know, wild area, not wildlife. So you'll see I wrote down here the Foley. What would we need for this? Well, you'd need the running water so you could make the stream sounds. Um, it says here, this says bicycle. Sorry, my handwriting's not very neat. But the bicycle, you'd need in the background much lower than the stream, you'd hear kind of what a bicycle might sound like. Nature sounds. When I wrote nature sounds, I might have things like a little bit of wind in there. Um, I might have, you know, um, just maybe a bird, just different things it would sound like to be outside in addition to the stream. Then I'd have an occasional little clap of thunder far away at this point. Okay. And I'd have an intro. I'd have an intro um, sound. So I'd have, I just wrote here, intro ballad, Ben send number one, Ben sound number one. This isn't real, but what I want you to do is you should have somebody who is scoring your film as well with your music. 
don't forget on the website, if you go back to our website and you go to bit.ly Mrs. Connolly, okay, if you go back there and you click on the video production website, you guys, the best place you could go for your music would be, remember right down here, free music websites. This free music archive is awesome. So definitely think about going back to that. Okay, let me go back and find where we were. Okay, so now scene number two. You can see it drawn out here. The kid's going to ride down the path. You can see he's got his hand. I mean, look at this is terrible, right? But you can see here, act number one, rides along the path, arrives at a garage, walks through a gate. So what's my foley? The bicycle. You see what it would sound like to have a bike riding on the dirt. Wind and thunder. Getting a tiny bit louder, but not very loud. Gate closing because the actor walks through a gate and you'd hear a car starting because remember in that scene, he's pulling up to a garage and we'd see the sign for the garage. So you can see here, that's my little bits of lightning. Love that. Actor number one, son arrives at the garage, argues with actor number two, storm comes, dad and son are killed. Car walking on the dirt. You definitely have the storm and lots of lightning. Here you kind of have the scary ballad because we're still in the beginning part of the movie. And then you can see here, and I kind of wrote down what this would look like, you know, for your next couple scenes. This is what I expect for your Foley art film projects. I expect you to have a fully written Foley art storyboard. I also expect you to have scripts fully written. Okay. There is a reason, if we go back here to the Foley sheet, there is a reason why on the timeline you were given so much time to write your scripts and do your storyboard. Okay, Filming should start later this week, but if you don't have your roles, your scripts completely written out and a good Foley storyboard written out, you're not ready to film. Okay, You have until next Thursday to do this, but keep in mind, next Wednesday is PSAT, okay? So the order you'll go in when you're filming is you'll film your scenes, then you go back and you determine the Foley that you need to start recording, right? Look at your Foley storyboard, then look at your filming. See if anything came in while you were filming that you might need to add to that Foley storyboard. Then you record the Foley, then you're going to edit the film, adding in the Foley you've recorded, now you score your film. Now you add in any music. Then you put everything together and submit your film. Okay, You're going to be submitting them on the 19th. One thing that I do want you to really keep in mind, and I put this under tips, you've got to have a good story, you guys. Foley and music are going to help make your story great, but you really need to have a good story to begin with. Since we're in October, embrace the season and think about doing a Halloween-themed film. Now, your Foley should be recorded separately. If you need some workshop time, just make sure, you know, I'm going to be there today after school. I'm going to be there, not Tuesday, but I will be there on Wednesday. So just let me know. All right, you guys, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions, and that's what you're going to be working on today. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.